Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to another SPS uh, tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a look at another non-parameter test. And you use this test if your data is not normally distributed. For example, if it's a really small sample, like only 10 respondents, which you can see in the background right now. This is the equivalent to an independent samples t-test, which means that the two groups, so in this case the genders, are not related to each other. So there are two separate groups. So normally you would use the independent samples t-test, but because the data is not normally distributed, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use the uh, man with me u test, which is also known as the Wilcoxon's rank sum test because they have the both, they have the same p value, so they have the same result. So we have two genders with uh, correlating stress levels, and we want to know whether the stress levels actually differ uh, significantly from each other. So we're going to go to and, uh, and the way it works is that SVSS ranks all these, uh, ranks all these results. So I can make another, uh, I'll do this manually just to show you guys how it works. It takes the ranks and it gives the smallest rank, uh, the smallest number, which is five, rank one. Then, uh, the second smallest, which is six, rank two. Uh, then rank, uh, then a stress level of seven gets rank three. Uh, and the stress level of 8 gets rank 4. And then uh, the stress, stress level of 9 gets, uh, gets rank 5. So, but SPSS does this automatically. i just show you guys how it works. Then you go to Analyze, uh, Non-Parametric Test, Legacy Dialogues, and then two independent samples. The test variable, so the dependent variable, is going to be stress. And the grouping variable is going to be, I can take it out, is going to be gender. So you select it and then you press define groups. And then group one is going to be uh, uh, gender one and group two is going to be gender two. Then in the, uh, uh, the test type, you select the men with me U test and then you press paste. And then SPSS becomes a bit laggy, but then a, a dialogue opens in your syntax screen. So you press the big green play button. And then you get the means, but be careful, you do not report the means, you report the medians. Uh, if you want to know how to uh, uh, get to a median, then you go, should go to analyze descriptive statistics and then descriptives, and then select the variables that you want. Now we're going to take a look at the ranks, and we can see at the Men Whitney test that the gender one had five respondents, which had a sum rank of 17. So if you combined, all those ranks which we calculated before, uh, then you get to a total sum of ranks. That's why it's called the Wilcoxon's rank sum test of of 17, while gender two has a, a sum of ranks of 38. So there's quite a big difference if you uh, take the sum of those ranks. And then we can calculate whether those are significantly different. First, we take a look at the Wilcoxon's W, so the Wilcoxon's uh, statistics. Uh, which is going to be the lowest of the two ranks, which in this case is 17. So that's going to be the Wilcox in statistics. While the men with me, you statistic shows whether there's a significant difference between those uh, ranks. And in this case, the when with me, you statistic is two. And if we want to know whether that is significant or not, we take a look at the exact significance level, which is 0.032 which is lower than the alpha of 0.05. So that means that yes, there is a significant difference between the sum of ranks. So yes, there is a significant difference between the two groups. Uh, so in this case, group two uh, scores significantly higher on stress than uh, gender one. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, then uh, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel because more uh, statistical videos are on their way. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.